Welcome to the gap. This is the gap. Yeah. They should have never gave you a platform. All right, so you know the format of the show. So we about to just hop right into this shit. And this is all they've been fucking talking about the whole week. Most of the time, it ain't really been a lot of news. It's only been this shit. And it's just like, ugh, and I, I just touched bases on it last week. But we don't talk about it again. The Delta variant. Yes, the new strain of the vid. Because I ain't about to say the regular word because they will flag you. Bow! Look it. It's happening. It's here. Uh, a lot of cases are going up. A lot of hospitalization cases are going up. Even people that's been vaccinated are catching it, but they're better equipped to fight it. Um, this is what happens when you don't fucking really listen. I'm sorry. This is what happens. You don't listen to fucking science. <laughs> like, nigga, I keep telling y'all. Bill Nye, the fucking science guy, did not go through this bull malarkey for us to not listen. We shouldn't be in this. <laughs> Fuck, man. Goodness. Yeah, so like, just be prepared. If they put us back on lockdown again, they're probably going to put back the mask mandates. So that means you're going to have to start wearing your mask again, going into places, going anywhere and stuff like that. And if shit gets worse, we might be back on lockdown. I hate to say it. I don't want to be on lockdown, but it might happen. So prepare yourself. Stack your chips. If you got anything online going that's a shop, a show, whatever, prep that shit. Have that shit out. Be ready to fucking uh, promote that because niggas might be back in the house because the fucking Delta variant. We just, we got to be glad any spirit variant. I think that'll wipe. The spirit variant would have wiped out the earth. We would be gone. We'd be really going to Mars with Jeff Bezos and shit. <laughs> We'd be fucking out of here for the spirit variant. Deal. Oh my god. Man. But yeah, just prepare yourself because we might be going back on lockdown. I'm not 100% sure, but the way things are going, might be back on it. And also, it's happening, stock market going all crazy and shit. But I always say buy stocks, you know what I mean, that, that you're going to hold for 5 to 10 years. I'm listening to financial advisors. I'm listening to a, a podcast on uh, uh, Market Mondays. They give great advice. One person on there is a financial advisor. The other two aren't. They clearly state that. I'm not a financial advisor either. But what I'm doing, my practices, I'm buying stocks of companies that most likely not going to lose. And you have to hold five to ten years to get that boom in profit. One stock I own, Apple. You know why? Because I fucking use Apple all the time. I got a bunch of Apple products. Why not buy a stock that you already invest in? Amen. But yeah, stock market going all crazy, going up and down, up and down. Bit, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency going all up and down, up and down because it's Delta variant. So people out there, be prepared. We might go back on lockdown. Get the vaccine. Uh... They're not requiring you to wear a mask, but in certain places, like I said last week in LA, mask mandate going back up. So certain places might start having a mask mandate again. Um, and just uh protect yourself out there, people. Shit. Uh be ready. Cause uh winter is coming and it it might be a doozy. <laughs> but let's get into the next topic. And this leads into um, you know, cause we were relaxing off the vid people were going back to work going back into their offices working in group settings not working from home and what that leads to people going back into the office is motherfucking microaggression especially black women in the workplace <sighs> yes microaggression if you don't know what microaggression is microaggression is look it I got this book right here, right? Then I'm reading it. And a white person reading it. And then like, see me reading it, right? And I'll start explaining it to him. And like, yeah, you know, like back in the day, 
Like, not even back in the day, even now. A fucking high school, white, high school, GED graduate, whatever you want to fucking call it, white woman, gets the same amount of money as a college graduate black woman. And then a white dude be like, oh, dang, you're smart. I didn't know you would be this smart. Wow, you're very articulate too. Microaggression. Another example of microaggression. Black woman come in to the office, having her beautiful hair everywhere, just looking all beautiful and shit. Then we got Peggy come in and be like, oh my God, your hair is so beautiful. Can I touch it? Oh. And then she reaches to try to touch her, touch her hair and she, motherfucker. I know the black woman will smack her hand, but you got to do corporate thing. Be like, oh, no, don't. Don't touch my hair, okay? Jeez. Microaggression. This one motherfucker's got to deal with going back into the workforce. And it's running rampant. And it's being talked about more because now it's even more prevalent. It's like, damn. Like, we got to go back to work and deal with these microaggressions when it was better to just work at home. Hmm. I think more companies need to just have people stay and work at fucking home. Don't have to deal with traffic so much. Don't have to deal with the crazies. Don't have to deal with this bullshit microaggression. Okay? And you're going to be more productive at work if you're not a lazy bastard. If you're a lazy motherfucker, you just ain't going to get work done anywhere you at. But if you ain't lazy, you got ambition, pretty sure you're going to get a lot of work done at home. And you don't have to deal with microaggression. That shit is, the shit be throwing you off, man. Be like, Making you not want to come into work. You got to deal with all all the shit that like. Like as a black person, you really be wanting to tell these motherfuckers. Yo, get the fuck back. Shut your motherfucking mouth. But in corporate world, you can't say that. So you got to be all like. Oh, Bill. Oh, oh, oh. No, don't touch it. My hair. Oh, y- yes. I'm, I'm articulate. I'm smart. Probably smarter than you. You know. You gotta be all fucking, fucking bullshitting with these motherfuckers. Man. But anyway, let's get off this topic. Look it. Microaggression is real in the work field. And this shit wasn't happening when people was working at home. And black women take the the blunt or brunt. You know the fucking word I'm talking about. That's all I be saying where I'm like, hold on. There's... You know, the brunt of this fucking action, man, they get a lot of microaggression. And I think the the solution to this is really just, if you can, if you're a company that don't need employees to come in or come in probably once a week, I'd say do that. Just let people work at home so I ain't got to deal with this bullshit. You feel me? I mean, okay. I think the, look at one, the only positive that comes from that came from the lockdown and us being cavemen and women was uh you get to work from home and you don't have to deal with a lot of bullshit like this. Well, that's all I got to say about that. 